gonna r almost run right over the other T62. <laughs> the gun depression though, militia one. There it goes. <laughs> oh, and the RPG as well. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And this one, we have the insurgents up against a regular militia on Camdash. This is Camdash Ras V1, and it is one of the most uh, weird matchups, uh, mirror matchups, whatever you want to call it. Irregular and insurgents, they rarely square up against each other. And this is a really fun thing to see in squad. You got a bunch of janky vehicles. You got a bunch of janky weapons and cam dash. Uh, let's be real. I don't think anyone really likes cam dash, but you get T62s, you get BMPs, you get a bunch of techies. It's just a lot of fun seeing these two kind of weak factions square up against each other in a random advance to secure game instead of invasion. This was actually voted on in the Patreon. So if you do like Eye in the Skies and you want a little bit more control on what type of Eye in the Sky matchups you might see in the future, do make sure to hit the link down in the description below, join the Patreon, and then cast your vote. The voting for March is up right now, so check it out and you might get your favorites in the next Eye in the Sky. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, or drop me a comment below on a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog or here on YouTube. If I'm not uploading videos, I'm dual streaming on whichever platform, so pick your platform of choice and I'll see you there. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right, Eye in the Sky, and we've got Camdash, everyone's favorite map. Camdash, I'm just, this map is, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, Camdash, uh, Ras V1 with the insurgents up against the irregular militia. Um, it is a mirror match. It is unconventional versus unconventional, and it is going to be awesome. A bunch of the Lodgies, uh, for, we're on board with the insurgents. Yeah, a bunch of the Lodgies. Uh, they have the transport that spawns in a couple minutes. Then they have four armored Dishkas, four Dishka boys, uh, two BMP-1s, a T-62 that spawns up in six minutes, a UB-32 rocket techie, and then an SPG armored techie up against Mill, who have uh, their armored Lodgies, uh, a couple armored, or yeah, the, the little boy, the little pickup ones, the big boy ones, uh, the 50 cal techies, the armored 50 cal techies, uh, MTLB with rockets. Wait, is it six MB? I'm sorry, six MB is the uh, what's it called? The BTR version um, of it. The T62 that will also spawn in in about six minutes, and then the UB32 rocket techie, and then the SPG uh, techie as well. So it is a very, uh, very mirror match. Really, the only differences are going to be command strikes, um, or not command strikes. Sorry. Uh, the uh, weaponry, uh, command strikes is the same. They have the mortar barrage. They have drones. Uh, insurgents will get an IED drone. Um, Mill no longer have the IED, so no IED drone for them. Uh, I will start at, at Kuhn all the way down to, is it L Larna? Over to Fob Grace, then Sao, and then uh, Parun, and then Kush Kushda. So, should be a good one. Let us go. Um, big rollout. Looks like every vehicle mine. Oh no, insurgents. No, you hate to see it. They're going heavy on the infantry. Uh, they are not choosing to bring out one of the BMPs. Uh, a regular militia, on the other hand, have taken out both BMPs and it's in one squad. That's, that's really how you want to do it. So they're going to have one squad rolling with the BMPs. Uh, just... <sighs> If the BMPs run into anything, it will die. You really need your hat kits. Um, if you're, I'm looking at the map right now for insurgents, you're gonna need hats or a lucky SPG kill. Uh, a, a BMP maybe coming coming around with a flank. I mean, at the moment here with this big armored blob, it's going to be a bit rough for the insurgents. Mill, they're just gonna be on top of this. Um, SPGs moving out. We see one SPG, the armored SPG. Oh no, just a regular SPG techie right there, unarmored. Just a nice little Toyota pickup. And here it might lead up to our first little ambush, uh, too. Just south of us, so further back here, uh, across the screen is a Lodgy 
that's going to be rolling up. You can see him right about here. SPG is trying to work his way through the town, and this might be a collision course. SPG coming around the bend. And, oh, they whoopsie daisy him. The Lodgy off to our left. They actually miss the SPG. SPG is going to keep on rolling, and instead... Hold on a second. Where are they? Way down off to our east here. So it's going to be a western layer, boys. You see Spork? Yeah, seven, don't put a radio. Spork in the SPG techie. He has an enemy Lodgy off to his left. Oh, and he takes the first shot. I think he actually misses. He's got to reload. Dishka starts trying to suppress now. He has no idea where he's at, though. SPG right through the trees. Trying to find a good shot. Angle on him. Oh, and he dumps it short. SPG has a perfect ambush position, but not able to do anything about this. Now the MTLBs are also firing. You have, we're going to redirect out west because this is about to be a huge squad wipe as well. Look at all of this. MTLB is just lighting up the infantry. Crispy Toast. Can you tell a couple of your men to come here? The two MTLBs, they got them both. And we're not leaving this place. We're, we're building a happy. I don't know what your plan Oh, is. AT smacks in. I think it was exit or anxiety. Oh, my bad. MTLBs take a little bit of AT and they're going to have to push into the, the city. That's where their infantry is as well. And hold on a second. Is that another? Oh, that's a Lodgy. Get hit by a 50 cal. Oh, my goodness. It is absolutely popping off on the west side of Camdash. You got MTLBs being ambushed. Lodgy's being ambushed. And 50 cal is going to mop it up. Easy kill in the end for a regular militia. But MTLBs, you can see right here, you got a bunch of infantry. They've started to kind of collect themselves a bit, pick their, uh, their buddies up. MTLBs. Trying to see if there's any type of flank happening just yet. Trying to figure out where the BMP is. Um... Kushdals is just about secured, then Parun's going to be secured. It's just going to be infantry at the moment. QB 32's coming in. Oh, and they actually knock out one. Icy's. Oh, and Hax goes down. That's half of the crew, actually. Crispy Toasted Rob Dog. They've just. They lost their crew members. Oh, and Rob Dog goes out. He's trying to dig up the repair station, and he does. Oh, nearly died to that second rocket barrage. And the infantry who were ambushed, they are still up and in it. MTLB is just trying to fire, but infantry staying up. And it's the 50 cal. They've somehow missed the infantry out here. They're just suppressing blindly. And you just have friendlies now. If you are this SPG, you have a friendly 50 cal north of you. A regular militia is actually super chaotic right now. Usually Camdesh, you have a bit more of a, a united front. Because there's no really, you don't really want to go off road. You don't want to go by yourself. Looks like SPG truck just got shot by a, a think of that, the tandem round. Oh, hold on a second. Pardon the quick camera movement. We have a BMP. There he is. BMP just pops a second vehicle, so the BMP mops up. And just as easy as that, so insurgents with a really good kill. And the T-62s are up. Militia don't have theirs up just yet. Uh, insurgents now getting their T-62. So insurgents actually started off on the... I guess the worst foot, but 267 tickets for the insurgents, 252 for militia, and Bob Grace is being secured. Sal is they actually unsecured right now. Like you have a bunch of uh, a regular militia yeah, around it, but no one on the actual cap yeah. points. Yeah. 
But if you could get a backup hab down to the south, would probably be better. Winter is wet, is anxiety gonna, and exit. Not gonna probably push from that direction. The last ones the over here. Anxiety trying to hold his spawn. Oh, you're right. Pike is rolling up. Oh! Oh, oh, fuck, oh careful, I pulled the pin. Get away from my body. Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, catastrophe, disaster, and that is how it ends. Yeah, we managed to escape that engagement with infantry and the SPU techie, but we're heading back to main to repair. So Fob Grace is just about secure. Uh, uh, Paroon as well. is getting captured by militia now, and then there you go. Yeah, Sow is open. Out. You get attack How about for it? And T62. Oh, the yeah, commander's like actually the commander for a regular militia jumping I'm in the T62. You usually don't see there. that. See how it goes though. Monk man for militia coming up on the south side of Fob Grace. And he is soloing this. I don't know if this is gonna go very well. He is trying to hop up on this 50 cal. All by himself? <laughs> he goes straight into the suppression. Oh, and he has to reload too. He's already been hit once. Do you have infantry all over you? And you also have friendly or enemy vehicle off the south side. Another Dishka. Oh, hold on a second. gonna go on board of course right when I move AT just misses him actually hold on a second monk man gonna hold strong IEDs go off monk man thinking Shazi actually knocks out Aziz wow would not have guessed that but hold on a second this is a heavy anti-tank kit a regular militia running up and he hears the tracks of that insurgent T-62 and he has the tandem out, but he's been sprinting. Can he aim true? That is going to be a hell of a shot if he can actually hit it. Oh, and he, oh so and he so so he's so short. So short. Unfortunate for Militia. But I don't think he's going to have another shot just yet. Yeah, the T-62 is completely out. And hold on a second. T-62 is going to run right into this. 50 cal techie. I need to be careful about the pressure. Kill I, I don't know. Way. He's staying on the yeah. 50 cal. Oh, no gun depression. There it is. There's the gun depression. And then there's the militia depression. T62 making quick work. And they're gonna roll right in, trying to see if they have any AT nearby, and no. You have MTLB, honestly. The MTLBs are still pushing out east. And they were they managed to get a little bit of Ooh, hold on, rockets coming in here. And they are just it's not really well grouped, just random sporadic firing. But MTLBs, we can see them moving east here, Rob and Crisby. I'm not quite sure where they're going. Because uh, the T-62 T-62 is coming right down towards the crossroads and he has a mine set of mines straight in front of him and an insurgent RPG insurgent lays prone and hits it oh just in the corner and he does get mopped up by that 30 mil but wow T-62 just shrugging that off unfortunately he missed the track and he also missed the engine but that T-62, oh, and hold on a second, Chris Blue might be getting another shot here. And he does! Chris Blue, he missed the first tandem round. He does get it shot into the T-62, but it doesn't look like he's tracked or engine. Solomon and uh, John Wikipedia are going to fall back a bit, trying to see if they're going to have a repair station anywhere. And, well, Chris Blue, he's going to be loading a heat round now. Trying to go for a disable.
so we get on the road and drive to it. Oh, and he chooses not to fire. T62 is going to get out of there. With the entrance, then left. And it's going to... Oh, hold on a second. Quick camera movement. Pardon. And if you want me, I can build a tag up or at least supply the grace. Uh, there is a drone grace. up. But it looks like it's a, a a mill drone. Yeah, this Zulu Echo, he's commander for militia. And look what we got here. T-62. They are doing kind of a big flank. Have located North Fork Grace. West okay. side of this, so right over the other side of the hill here, they're actually coming up around all of the armor, and you have the drone. Let's see if we can't get him highlighted here. Zulu Echo in the drone might have just ended and it oh no he's just on the other side Zulu Echo in the drone for the commander he's calling out uh where all the vehicles are allowing the T62 this is the slowest flank known to man he has to go up and around all the way where you see Scuba Steve and then take this road and he has a couple BMPs the T62 can make quick work of the BMPs but you you can't you can't be dumb about it. Those ATGMs can absolutely Amorak this T-62. We're gonna come back to him as he... Oh, hold on a second. That's a Lodgy. He just just... He drove by what looks like almost a, a checkpoint. A regular militia setting up uh, a checkpoint fob kind of in the middle and this is actually going to be what? that's going to be attack. tough for insurgents to get through it's it's actually next to it the next point uh llama or is it Larn? what is it called larna so if they're able to capture Don't fob grace uh off. the militia the they can almost snowball domino effect down to this point and then that it's about gg T62 is going to be on a long flank, and it so looks like this is squad six. Six has set up yeah. a sneaky attack fob Command on the DC south side of Grace. Of their armor. Uh, it's two MTLBs. I hear they're T62, I think, as well. Where is it? They're moving. The MTLBs are moving west. South side here. And now you have a drone, I think, just went up. Oh, good old rocket strike. UB-32s from Militia. Are on, uh, their defense point right now. BMPs, they're about to run right in. Where is this, this drone? The drone is just pretty much marking exactly where the BMPs are. You can see it pop up, this, this eye mark keeps popping up. T62 now is going to see Scuba Steve. And it's up to him. I don't know if I'd take a shot at Scuba Steve if I'm the T62. Because you just had you've done a, a really big flank. Oh, there it goes. Doesn't matter. Scuba Steve. Yeah, both are MTLBs are on sale right now. It's absolutely smoked. I don't see a I don't see a hab south side in one of the buildings i didn't see one might be blind though like the red circle there d62 rolling up we just lost uh, down our half the south of Pop Grace as well not entirely sure uh it might be a tank not entirely yeah, tank. sure they're calling maybe yeah, a tank on the south side confirming it's a tank and command is now the T, we're about to have a T-62 fight. T-62 rolling out of Fob Grace. You can see right there through the trees. And let's see who kills who. Not entirely accurate. What's down there? Yeah, I think. Yes. It took our body out from a fairly close range. Command chat trying to figure out exactly where this T-62. I don't think they realize it's as close 
as it is, right up the road. Right around the corner. Oh, hold on. You actually have... Hat kit. Insurgent T-62 needs to be very careful. There's actually enemy infantry all nearby. Uh, tank, we're gonna support you. Oh, and that's not what you want to see. If you're the T-62 crew, that is a tandem round right in the rear. There's a lot to my easy miss. He, oh, he actually did miss. Must have hit the corner. T-62 is okay. And Chris is going to have another shot on the top of this hill. You can see him. Whoa, never mind. You can't see him because Camdash is a horrible map. And he hits the top. That is a good shot. Oh, no, he's tracked. And I really don't know what the T-62 was doing here. He chose to move away from all of his infantry cover down south. And now the T-62 is tracked. And... We're tracked. Another one. Oh, there he is. Oh, everyone's getting tracked. Everyone's getting tracked. T-62 from the militia are now coming in. Oh, and he actually takes the shot first. T-62, they're tracked. And... The militia T-62 has no idea where that came from. They have not returned fire just yet. And they're actually panicking. They just killed one of their own infantry up on top of the hill. Another tandem round and that should be about it for the T-62. Oh, he's not smoking or on fire just yet. T-62 gonna almost run right over the other T-62. <laughs> the gun depression though militia one there it goes <laughs> oh and the rpg as well mill is actually going to go down no way he does militia t62 goes down and there it goes the instruction one goes down not a second later absolute destruction on the outskirts of fob grace t62s in chaotic fashion both go down unbelievable 188 tickets to 206 and I don't understand how that happened, but I'm glad we were there for it. T-62s cancel each other out. And that is one way to have a tank fight. On the other end, we have a BMP who's tracked. Or engine. I think he's engined, actually. BMP is engined, and he's got enemy infantry crawling all around. One of them goes down behind the tree here. You can. There's two of them are both on their defense. He's yeah, just yeah. absolutely. Oh, and he. Yeah, it's uh, northeast, I think. Martin Magnum, Celtic, Kush, and Bruge uh, Barf. Uh, Another BMP north, here. So That's a friendly one. North. Ramirez and Flugi coming to their rescue. My boy found the radio on Thal. And a little drive smoke to try to get the engine or track back up. And they are now he mobile. Dig it down. He found the, the BMPs are up and at them. Hey, you got heavy infantry contact right there. And there are NTLBs though. RPG tries to take out a BMP and that's not going to work. MTLBs, we're going to float all the way to the east side. These MTLBs, Rob Dog, Ices, Crispy Toes, they have somehow stayed alive all game. RPG min arms, oh no. Tries to go for the track and not going to happen. MTLB just mops them up, and this is... Uh, a lot of people don't like these VIX. These ones are kind of fun. Not because they're necessarily good, but because they're so bad, whenever you do good things with them, it oh, feels man, that much some, better. Some <laughs> MTLB... Laying into it, and he just has actually gotten a squad wipe. There is one, oh, one left. And that is going to be it.
MTLB RTB. And the big fight is now over Fob Grace insurgents in the compound in blue. The regular militia outside the compound in red. Enemy radio on bleed on Sal. And wow, Sal, they actually had a sneaky Cajun going in. And he's managed to keep that radio on bleed. And he does go down, unfortunately. But Rocket's coming in. Silver Squeeze just crawling his way out of him. Chris goes down. And Insurgents, they are just holding the line here. We could try to get a Lodgy and push up to the east of Bob Grace. See, BMPs. Oh, and they have the Hell Cannon behind them as well. You'll love to see it. Rose tries to push in. Monk also yeah, they, goes they down. Insurgents just holding. I'm not quite sure. One BMP just tried to ATG him in infantry. Yeah, ends up hitting a tree with that Malyutka. And that is not what you like to hear. This Bob, they're calling it. Uh, Beeline. He is digging down the radio and infantry all around him are just kind of helpless. It is such a close game right now. This 20 tickets could be huge. 151 to 167. And Aziz, the combat fighter. Oh, looks like he was in a reload animation. Gets caught and... Well, this is the radio on bleed and you don't... Hey, you don't have anyone who's actually paying attention to it for insurgents. There'll be another minus 20 tickets. Mortar barrage. That was more of a rocket barrage. You actually have a mortar barrage now calling in. Ooh, and hold on a second. Friendly mortar barrage inbound, Sal. Call off the techie, though. You have enemy infantry that are pushing in, or rather you have friendly insurgent infantry in the blue ahead of us. They can actually get towards uh, Sao. This dome is the capture point. And we'll have to see if they can actually do anything. Mortar Barrage might take out an MTLB, but it's next to a repair station. We'll see Mortar Barrage coming in and it doesn't hit really much of anything, honestly. Possible we get a body run to bring Bill to the Mortar Barrage. I think even if we turn on the outlines, dude, there is nothing. That Mortar Barrage. Okay. I, I hate to say it's a complete waste, but it's a complete waste. There is nothing that the Mortar Barrage is hitting. Very odd that he called it in on here. It didn't even hit the repair station. Nothing going down. Uh, Irregular Militia going to be safe in the houses on Sao. And MTLBs are going to continue to just tear up the infantry. Insurgent anti-tank needs to do something about these MTLBs. I'm trying to see if there is any anti-tank nearby. You have a hat kit anxiety. We're going to go take a look at him. Since it looks like he is lining up for a shot. Anxiety pulling out the RPG-29, and he's got this one. This is as easy as you can give him. Straight down the middle. And there you go. Good shot. Hit it once. And he was... Oh! The accurate return fire. Unbelievable. The gunner on the MTLB. Oh, and the second RPG just misses the track. MTLB coming in to support his buddy. And these MTLBs are just terrorizing the insurgents. And uh-oh. Driver trying to get into the action here. Oh, field goal! Insurgent AT just can't do it. MTLB's running riots. And insurgents are still going to just get absolutely torn to shreds from this MTLB. 
We're digging the radio. MTLB is just terrorizing these guys. And uh, despite the MTLB just doing everything they can, you're still having a little bit of the insurgents pushing through, starting to break through. But unfortunately, a regular militia, they, they or a force for the insurgent, a regular militia still haven't lost their VIX. MTLB is going to be able to just sit on Sao now and cut off all of these insurgents and there you go Osama bin Kalb <laughs> oh my goodness but MTLB they have the hab overrun I think they've actually dug down the radio and it is crazy bones have dug down the radio insurgents are pushing in but mtlbs can still save this if they just get up on the point 91 tickets to 137. four chevs radio is on bleed mtlb is mopping them up though and they're trying to throw the anti-tank grenades major disappointment living up to his name right now he's trying to sneak on in Major disappointment. He's got that anti-tank grenade ready. Trying to be a little sneaky. Goes to throw. And he... Oh, it hits a repair station at least. And it hits a tree. And it hits the other side of the MTLB. Misses the MTLB completely, but the repair station is now down. Major disappointment. Well, it's in the name. Radio is still on bleed. MTLBs cannot repair. Oh, RPG misses again. Insurgents are just fumbling here. RPG then goes down and now you have, well, oh, one hat round finally kills the MTLB. And oh, going with the pistol. He could save the rate. Oh, he goes in just too late. As it all is popping off, radio goes down. B2. Hell of a push. And now you have a rocket or mortar barrage. This is, is an irregular militia mortar barrage coming down and trying to just defend. One MTLB does go down. The radio goes down. And now you have Olimar is in the half. Oh, he bails him! Olimar with the bayonet! And is the hab, the hab isn't down just yet. Oh, and he goes for another one! Olimar with that little bayo. <laughs> wow. They're losing Fob Grace now with another bayonet! And there it goes, it explodes! Going down with the ship, Olimar, huge! And unbelievable, Fob Grace, the, the huge defensive Fob, has somehow been breached, all while just a handful of irregular militia have been able to hold on to Sal. One MTLB left. Hab is, uh, it looks like they have a second Hab up because they are insurgents, so they get two. Second Hab is still okay. And MTLB runs right into a Lodgy. The second MTLB, oh, it's an ID one! Oh my goodness, they nearly hit the MTLB. Instead, the ID pops just a little too late. Side. Sao is well it looks like it's going to be down to tickets instead of uh tickets on these points instead of someone capping them because Sao is actually being re-secured by militia insurgents are re-securing Fob Grace and it is it's going to be close MTLBs are okay BMPs are okay 29 tickets to 81 mil up by 50 tickets and unless something crazy happens 
It looks like it's going to be an irregular militia win. Enemy one Chevron. We need a few more squads to pull back. Enemy infantry is on one defense. Well, uh, um, the, the graphics have reset point. and all the smoke is now gone. Hold here. <laughs> all on the southeast corner. MTLBs, or rather uh, BMPs. I think there's a, uh, where's the second BMP? I can actually see them. They might've gone know. down. Nope. RPG misses the BMP. 22 tickets to 79, and that is close. BMP takes a tandem round right to the side. And they're going to try to drive smoke and bail. BMP just needs to get out of here. Oh, and there it goes. What a shot. Tandem round. From behind the Hesco, second BMP coming in to check out what the hell is going on here. And he needs to be careful, otherwise he's going to get shot himself. And now he's just going to hide inside. And there he goes. Oh! Takes out a handful of infantry. Risking it right now. Six tickets to 73. And the only way they're going to win is if they capture Sao. Sao is okay, on four chefs. Six tickets, guys. Two. Warframe is on top. Uh, don't give up, don't give up. Six tickets. RPG into the side. And it kills his buddy. A regular militia says, you know what? I'll take the TK. I want to kill the BMP. BMP. Could, this could be the end, though. Five tickets left for insurgents. And all a militia have now pushed back on the objective. Militia have just done so well to lock yeah, down the point. Saw, so I think it's over. They're it's capping the again. Four tickets to 56. It's all on this point. PayPal, oh, Monkman, Feline okay. pushing in. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, good frag round knocks out a handful. And that should be it. The frag round killing just about all of the uh, attackers on the north side of Sao. PayPal tossing some GLs into it as well. And BMP... That is a militia truck BMP on its tail. And oh, sends around, and that wasn't even close. Trying to at least get a consolation prize. Zulu Echo is going to be able to RTB without a problem. Two tickets to 45, and your last two tickets are somewhere in this building. PayPal coming in and just absolutely mowing people down. Look at all the blue bodies next to PayPal. And there it is, 44 oh, tickets to zero. Oh, PayPal stacking bodies at the end. And ultimately, I think it was the vehicles, 144 kills to 167, 49 revives to 36. GG's.